Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. Today I'm going to be styling my gingerbread tree in my kitchen and I can't wait to bring you along. So I'm just going to get this tree out of the bag and it's going to be put up and I know it has to be fluffed but we're going to get to that in just a second. This is a tree that me and Kenny have had since we first got married. It used to be in our living room so we have definitely um, used this tree for many many years but I'm just going to get it all fluffed out and then we can get to the fun part part of decorating it. This is the ribbon that I'm going to be putting on the top of my tree and as you can see there's a little slit in the middle of it because that is going to drape across the very top branch and so I have two pieces of this so they're going to be like four streamers hanging down. My sister-in-law did this for me. Um, she makes my bows for my tree. She does such a good job but she made me the bow with it but also we made these for the little streamers to hang down underneath the bow. Okay, so this is the bow and it's made from the same ribbon and there is a little twine piece on either side of it. So what you do is you take one of the bows and put it on the back of the tree and tie the twine toward the front and then vice versa for the front of it. So it looks like there's a whole bow on the top of the tree, but it's really just two pieces put together. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Okay, so now I'm going to start adding my picks on either side of my bow, and this is just three different picks, the gingerbread, the candy, and then also one of those berry spray picks, and I'm going to put this collection on either side, and then I'm also going to go in with some more of the red berry sprays just to fill in and make the top of it just a little bit grander. So this is the first year that I have done this gingerbread tree. So all the things for this tree um, I bought new this year. And so it really just, you know, kind of took some playing around with to see how I liked it because I didn't know how everything was going to, you know, look placed on the tree. But I really love how my tree topper turned out for this tree. We're going to dance and dance have a good time I also bought some red and white striped ribbon because I thought it looked like candy canes. And so I'm just going to add a few more streamers. I'm going to make it the same length as that other ribbon and just add a few more of those around my gingerbread ribbon just to kind of pull it all together.
Okay, so now that I have all the ribbon on the tree, I'm going to take just a minute to get some jute twine tied to all of my little gingerbread cookie cutters so that I can hang them on the tree as ornaments. So if you are watching this on the day that I posted it, it is the day before Thanksgiving. So I just want to wish you all a very happy, healthy, blessed, and safe Thanksgiving. And I hope that you have a wonderful day with your family, your friends, whoever you are celebrating with. And may we just always remember that we are so, so blessed and have so much to be thankful for. Okay, so now it is time to start decorating the tree with all the ornaments and I'm going to start with some of the bigger pieces first like I'm going to put my beaded garland I'm going to put my sifter and then also like that big joy sign that I had um, If you missed my haul videos I shared some rolling pins that I bought because I wanted to try to put them on the tree But I ended up not doing that. I ended up doing something else cute with those But you will see that later on in the video Because um, I was just scared that they might be too heavy and pull the tree down so I decided to do something else with those but you will see that in just a little bit so I'm just going to get these ornaments on the tree and I think they're so cute So while you watch me put the ornaments on the tree, I wanted to take just a minute to um, introduce myself in case any of you may be new. I know that I have gained um, several new friends lately, which I appreciate so, so much. So thank you so much for being here. If you are one of my new subscribers or returning subscribers, it truly means so much that you take time out of your day to come spend a little bit of time with me and watch my videos. But my name is Emily, and um, I have been married to my husband, Kenny, for almost eight years. We will celebrate our eight-year wedding anniversary in December, and we have uh, one child. We have a son, and his name is Rowdy, and he will be three at the end of December. So we have lots of celebrations uh, for our family in December, but um, I am a library media specialist, so I do work full-time outside of the home. Um, my husband is an educator as well and a football coach so uh, we spend a lot of time at school and extracurricular activities um, so you know just that's a big part of our lives um, but yeah that's just a little bit about me and my family and you'll see Rowdy pop in and out <laughs> of my videos and then also um, our little puppy we have a little puppy named Axel and he um, is just you know so sweet too so I love my little family and I just appreciate, like I said, so much you being here, and um, I would love for you to introduce yourself in the comments if you happen to be new um, and tell me a little bit about you. I always love to get to know you guys as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you for being here always and watching my videos. It, I truly cannot express how thankful I am.
Once I got all of the gingerbread related ornaments and things on there, I decided that I wanted to go in with some bells and things as well, just to fill in a few of those empty spots. And then also it will pull up, you know, like how I have my living room decorated, just kind of bring all those things together because I do have bell decor in there. Um, so I just thought just that little touch would be cute to add. And so I'm just giving you an overview of what the tree uh, looks like whenever it gets all finished, but we still got to add our tree skirt and one other thing. So don't click off yet, but I'm just showing you what it looks like once all of the ornaments and ribbon are on it. Um, I think that it could probably stand to have a few more ornaments, but this is what I have this year and maybe it's just something I can pick up a few more every year to to add to it because I definitely think this is something I will continue to do because I love how it turned out and I think it just gave this corner in my kitchen its own little festive Christmas touch. My momo recently gave me this piece and it is actually a hand painted pot and the little Santa Claus is really cute, um, but I am going to turn it around and just use the red side. I'm kind of going to use this as like a crock and this is where I'm going to put my rolling pins and look at this rolling pin. I just picked it up this week from the Emporium so it wasn't in my hauls that I shared, but it is huge and I got this for $10 and you can see it in comparison to those other ones that I picked up and shared already, but I absolutely love this rolling pin pen um, but I knew it would definitely be too heavy to put on the tree so I am going to be like I said using this little pot as kind of like a little crock and put it under my tree and display it uh, display all of my rolling pins under there and I think it turned out really cute and also it hides the plug and the cord which is always a bonus So thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope that you like how my gingerbread tree turned out. I do. and I'm so excited that I decided to uh, do this. So I hope that you all have a very blessed and happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.